Hello everyone and welcome back to Stock System Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video, I continue development of the Flan 3 single stage to Duna space plane. And I got suggestions in the comments to the previous YouTube video. Not all of them will I implement immediately in this video because there are a few steps. For instance, implementing a nervous system will radically change the thing. And so let's test some of the other suggestions first. Uh, so that we don't have to change quite as much. The most immediate one, of course, is accelerating at low altitude and then climbing. Now, of course, in real life, this would be a horrible thing to do because the fuel efficiency at low altitude is not good, which is why well, airliners, whenever they want to increase the fuel efficiency, try to get a higher flight level. But, okay, I mean, I knew, sort of knew this already because I had heard from other people, it's been a long KSP career, and uh, among other people who know this was Yargnit on uh, Twitch, I remember. Uh, so yes, uh, I have heard this sort of thing before. It disturbs me that uh, the, the Raptors may work this way. Uh, let's test it though, because just because uh, people have that experience doesn't mean that it's necessarily true. Uh, I would like to test it out. So. Uh, we are going to do that. I have not changed the fuel configuration of this at all. And so we are going to proceed. And we will accelerate at low altitude. Climb at, uh, somebody said, uh, 15 to 20 degrees. So we'll climb at 15 to 20 degrees. And then we are going to accelerate at 18 kilometers as before. And see if we hit 1,500 meters per second. Bef uh, short of uh, reaching parity on our liquid fuel oxidizer, which is uh, 2,340 uh, liquid fuel oxidizer. In the previous video, I have been able to reach 1,500 meters per second before uh, hitting parity on liquid fuel and oxidizer, so we'll see if that's possible. All right, here we go. As far as landing on Duna, you guys had a few schemes, but I really like my Cubs. The Werner engines, somebody suggested putting the Werner engines, downward facing RCS ports that, that use liquid fuel and oxidizer, but they're much less efficient than the Cubs. And I like the Cubs, so we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I'll go with it, maybe I won't. I am open to the suggestions, though I'll grumble a lot, okay? Oh, I have to go really fast down here, hold on. I reserve the right to grumble. Now, the only reason that I think this might end up being a good idea is if I can lose one of the raptors and save that mass. That would make me happy. But we'll see. I'll consider putting the drills in the cargo bay, and I guess uh, these bottom wing panels may not do what they used to do. We'll see about that. We'll have to test all these things. Now you can see the increase in uh, liquid fuel consumption as we go faster. Of course, the actual efficiency of the engine does not change. In real life, it does change, by the way, with altitude. Uh, the efficiency goes up. Also, drag goes down, so that helps. Now, I'll try and flatten out here. Nobody asked me to put more air intakes, though. I was sort of wondering about that, but all right. 15 degrees. Somebody said angle of attack. Angle of attack is actually the angle between your prograde vector and your flight path. That's not, I think, what you meant. You meant uh, pitch. Fifteen degree pitch. Is this right there? Oh no! No 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 no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh! Well, there is that reason why I don't like to do it down here. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Right. Let's try it again. It's very inefficient to do it when your plane rips apart. That's definitely inefficient. Mm. I think I can actually get away with sort of thinner wings here. 
we could probably cut off the end of there, that there. That'll help somewhat. Okay, that's 450. <laughs> Be careful, careful, playing careful. There we go. Good plane. Alright. So again, the goal is to accelerate to 1500 meters per second before we get to 2340 on the liquid fuel. Okay, our apoapsis is getting to 18 kilometers, so I'm going to start to pitch down. Oh, no, 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 not that much down, not that much down. Careful, careful. Okay, a little bit further up. Sorry, this is a little bit wrong. Okay, 1400. That's close enough. I'll call it 1500 to be fair. And we saved maybe 160 liquid fuel, but there was one occasion where I didn't even... I got to this level without getting to parity yet, so... Maybe we can drop 160. It's not exactly revolutionary, <laughs> I have to say. Now, uh, my, my trajectory might have been a bit off, but it's not like accelerating at low altitude was, was an amazing boon to efficiency here but I'll, I'll do it I'll do it but I think uh, perhaps it is a bit exaggerated but let's see how much delta V we get once we get to orbit but of course we're carrying the same fuel load we should dump a little bit of liquid fuel and increase a little bit of oxidizer the problem is we don't have I mean we have set tank sizes so you can't just add oxidizer randomly, right? So there is a drawback here. Okay, we are switching to flow cycle and activating our terrier and slowly climbing. We'll go to that level. That should be good enough. With a little practice, I'll get better at this. Uh, it's been a long time since I did stock space planes, to be sure. So again, the Nerva will be a more radical redesign. Okay, we're going to shut off the rapiers. But yeah, if we save 140 liquid fuel, it seems that it's possible uh, doing it this way. We would, uh, I guess, need to dump about 80 of that liquid fuel and replace it with oxidizer, but I guess there might be a configuration. If we use the Mark Zero tanks, I can sort of see that. So what we would do is probably replace this uh, 400 unit liquid fuel tank with um, one of the shorter uh, liquid fuel plus oxidizer tanks and then put Mark Zero tanks uh, along the side here, tuck them in here. I'm just trying to figure out how to add the oxidizer to get the additional delta V that we save by doing this technique um, without adding, introducing too much dry mass here. So now I want to do one more test though, and that's what if, I mean, does that mean that we could get rid of one of the rapiers? So we'll, what we'll do is replace this tank with one that just has a single um, node at the back and put a single rapier on and see if uh, we can save that dry mass or not. For now, for this testing, I haven't added the additional core to the terrier to, so that we can control from that direction, but I will do that. So yes, if you um, seeing how I did the trajectory here, if you have some further refinements you would like to see out of it, uh, more specific here you pitch down kind of things uh, feel free to tell me as it is we're going to get to orbit with the same amount of delta V but that's because um, we used up the spare liquid fuel before starting the rocket engine because otherwise we wouldn't be 
that we would actually come to orbit with less delta V. So. You'll end up being lopsided, but uh, I think you get the picture. We're going to end up with about 1200 meters per second, about the same that I got at the end of the previous video when we actually transferred off to Duna. So yes, now we'll see what happens when I uh, reduce the rapiers by one and if that works out better. Incidentally, uh, during the development of this, I tried an interesting configuration whereby I put one rapier here. We tried three rapiers and put a cheetah on this side instead of the terrier. I was going to use a cheetah for the more efficient engine, but that did not. I mean, I'd still, I actually tilted them through the center of mass and everything, so I rotated them and uh, pointed through the center of mass, but it was still too... It wasn't good. So, uh, that wasn't a good idea. Well, that that's not great. Um, yeah. Well, we're unavoidably going to have to move this up a bit. Looks like we have to tilt it further, which I like less. But we'll deal with the arrangement of the Terrier later. The question is just uh, whether we can get by with fewer engines. This will do for now. As far as using different landing gear, we'll see. But with the Cubs, I shouldn't need to. And it depends on whether we're going, how much of a horizontal landing we're going to end up doing. Forward-facing thrusters might need to be a thing. Maybe we can use the Verners for that. But um, yeah, we will see. So the question is, can we get to 450 meters per second at low altitude here? Or will the drag be too much for the thrust of three rapiers? Some were suggesting two rapiers. We'll see that if three works. If we dump two rap, uh, uh, get to two rapiers and two rapiers works, that'll obviously simplify adding the nerva. The nerve. The Nerve has pluses and minuses compared to the Realism Overhaul Nerva. Uh, the Nerva actually has a better thrust weight ratio. It's got 300 kilonewtons on 9 tons. Whereas the Nerve has 60 kilonewtons on 3 tons. So, yeah, it's not quite as good. The Nerve's thrust weight ratio intrinsically is 2, whereas the Nerva's thrust weight ratio is more than 3. 3.3-ish. Okay, well, we'll try and keep pointing through prograde properly. Maybe we'll have to go down a bit. I don't think three engines is going to work with the drag that we have. But Oh, okay, it's, uh, let's try and go a little bit higher where there's a little bit less drag. All we need to do is find some way of getting to 450. I'm not guessing that two engines is gonna do at this point. So we're just climbing so I have some room to dive. We'll try reconfiguring the fuel tanks given the fact that we only have three rapiers. And then trim it out that uh, trim up the situation that way and see if that helps. And if we lighten up the load, obviously that might help us get past the speed of sound easier. Doing this at higher altitude does give me room to get through 450 in a dive. Not ideal though, but it's possible this way to use the three engines. Diving to get through 450 is not something you can do at lower levels and there was no amount of trying to go straight that would have helped. But here now we've uh, gotten through and we can climb again. But since three engines will take less liquid fuel than the four engines Maybe we can dump some liquid fuel and see. Let's try and go to that alternate configuration that we had with uh, liquid fuel plus oxidizer tank in front here. 
this will continue to accelerate correctly, but we might end up a little bit short of liquid fuel oxidizer parity because we didn't know we had to go to higher altitude first anyway. So, okay, anyway, you get the picture. Let's go back to the SPH. Uh, we will remove these and... Um, so, in order to facilitate potentially m turning this cargo bay into an upside-down cargo bay with the drill units, I'll, oh, uh, well, I will move those forward. I'll move these back, though. And the drills will tuck further back here for now. I don't want to change too many things at the same time. Okay, so we're carrying less liquid fuel for the engines, more oxidizer, but less mass overall. And we'll ultimately want the cargo bay shifted back into this slot, which is a gap between those panels. And again, we'll check some other time whether those panels are helpful or not. Okay, so let's just call this 3C, actually. And let's go. We're hoping that the reduction in mass will help us accelerate faster at lower altitude. That is the hypothesis. Ultimately, we could probably lose a little bit more wing, but we'll see. We should probably give ourselves a little bit of room in climb. It's a little bit more fidgety. The aerodynamics are not as good. I'll have to fix that. Oh, it's still accelerating, so I won't flatten out just yet. Okay, now I'll start flattening out here. Nope, I, I don't see any improvement. So it's down straight to drag. The thrust to mass ratio, thrust to weight ratio, if you will doesn't help a whole lot. Let's try and dive a little bit since we've given ourselves some room. Not really. All the drag at lower levels prevents you from using this technique of diving in order to gain speed as you can see. If we start off from a higher altitude because it's thinner we can do this but at this altitude we can't. So all right, let's go up. Already the removal of the, the four wing pieces has had an effect. And not a good one. Well, it's not too bad though. There we go, 450. We hit 450 at a higher altitude than last time. But we are also lighter now because we've burned off a whole lot of liquid fuel. So it doesn't really matter right now. We're not. We're just carrying a whole lot of spare oxidizer. Okay, we will do further testing with this system to try and optimize it. Uh, I mean, it's not going to be perfect. I'm going to insist on certain things that, you know, are suboptimal. For instance, docking port. <laughs> I mean, uh. We could probably just put the docking port, slap it on top. That might be even better since then we can control from it when using the cubs. We'll see what changes need to be made. But development of this will continue. And we'll change, try our best to change one thing at a time to really get down to what works and what doesn't. So with this going very fast, but not fast enough, I'll say Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.